Hey guys, what's up? Joe. Alright, uh, mainly out of boredom, I'm making this video. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning here. I've been up since 3 in the morning because of the jet lag. I showed up yesterday. I showed up yesterday around 5 o'clock here in Taipei. On a 13 hour flight from Los Angeles. I kind of figured I'm going to try to share a little bit more about myself and like uh, the stuff that I do when I work with Paul, you know, just for fun. As you can see, the first thing I did was damn trash the place. <laughs> no, not really. I just needed to take a shower. Here's the room that I'm staying in. It's actually an underground place. There's no windows because like I said, it's an underground place and it's probably a good idea considering that it can flood here. Yeah, so nothing major. Bed, TV, clothes. That's the pile of dirty shitty clothes. And this is my workstation. I brought my rockin' Nif mouse. Definitely that shit always comes with me. We're using the Gigabyte Aero 14 motherboard, uh, laptop. But this guy here is a secondary uh, secondary monitor, my G13, and you know, for my macros, this thing. I brought that guy too for audio, but uh, I don't have it set up here because I don't have enough uh, USB output, so I'm going to need to get like a, a USB splitter from Paul. That's going to be my setup here while I'm in Computex. Got a little fridge. This is a water boiler. I just made myself a coffee. It has a specialty blend of teas and coffee packs and all that. Here's a shower. As you can see, it's kind of like a closed off. Toilet and shower. It's a, just closes in here. And there's a shower head. Fairly simple, straightforward. Yeah, like before I came here, I thought I was gonna like make more videos of like just my experience here, just for fun, shits and giggles and stuff like that. And for like the few people that follow me on my channel, right? I figure you guys might be interested in checking this kind of stuff out. This is like my third year coming to Taipei. Probably the thing that I learned the most when it comes to traveling for work in general. This is my first job ever to like travel and work and stuff, which is awesome. I cannot have uh, have the luck to work with someone as awesome as Pa for these type of things. Probably the main thing to learn is basically you gotta learn to travel light. I kinda like developed like a personal like method. So basically like the way how I pack is try to pack as light as possible, right? If you have something specific that you need, say like, I don't know, maybe a specific type of deodorant or something for your teeth or whatever, obviously you can, you can pack that kind of stuff. But for the most part, like say the Q-tips or mouthwash, you know, toothbrushes, you know, you can get that here or anywhere you go. So a little crap like that, you can probably do without packing because you know it does take up space in your in your luggage and like these kinds of events you know you want to have enough space for your equipment so obviously that's the more supporting thing is your equipment right because you need it so with this trip with international flights you're able to check in two bags for free well it's probably included in the price of the ticket but uh, i was able to check in two bags without any additional charge so i checked in one big luggage for all my clothes and i uh, checked in another luggage into uh that was supposed to be my carry-on but was overweight because i had all the equipment in it so Check that in and like got a backpack. So I just got a total of three luggages. Well, two luggages and a backpack. And I carry the laptop and all the stuff, right? But when it comes to clothes, uh, what I learned is basically as a male, if I'm gonna, gonna be gone for 10 days, wherever I go to work, I use maybe anywhere in general, really. You don't need that much, but um, I pack like five days worth of clothes, right? So basically 10 days, cut down in half, five days worth of clothes in regards to shirts and pants, right? Five pairs of pants, five shirts, I can wear them more than once, whatever, right? However, the thing I learned that's very important is definitely take plenty of socks and underwear, because, uh, you know, yeah. Wearing pants more than once could be fine, but like wearing underwear more than once, that's kind of gross and uncomfortable. So yeah, same thing with the socks, right? Now there are laundry mats and all this stuff around here, obviously, but you know, I try to like save my time when doing stuff like that, because you know, it could be an hour of me just doing the laundry, where I'd rather spend an hour working or doing something else <laughs> right so so nothing major probably like a quick video oh also yeah definitely take advantage of like whatever complimentary things they, they give you when you're traveling right now we fly eva air and they give you like these little packages like in the plane right and like the cool thing about that is you know it comes with a toothbrush some socks earplugs a uh, hair comb it even comes with like some lip balm and like uh, hand lotion, a little mini toothpaste as well. So I'm sure they don't mind <laughs> that I took this thing, you know, whatever. And 
It doesn't say leave it, please. I was just like, uh, I was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I mean, these are very flimsy, so I mean, I'm sure these are disposable, so not that big of a deal. Same thing with like the hotel here. You know, they have uh, you know, shampoos and toothpaste and all this stuff. Like, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Paul obviously he he's a chill guy and he does understand about uh, giving you like a daily allowance, you know, some cash for your spending here. Uh, so I do, you know, have that. But also, like, you know, obviously you want to be careful with your money because, you know, that can get expensive uh, if you don't, especially if you're in there, you don't know where to shop. You know, if you go to, like, the main tourist areas, if you buy, like, deodorant, like, stuff like that could be marked up because it's a tourist area. And, you know, it's just how it is, right? So, yeah, definitely, you know, this place has coffee. I'm definitely eat, drinking all that coffee that I can here. You got toothpaste here. They even got, like, a disposable razors. I'm using that. Shampoo, body lotions. I'm using all that shit here. I'm not buying anything. I'm not bringing any of that stuff uh, as well because it takes up space, right? But yeah, <laughs> there's one thing I definitely learned to appreciate is like uh, other little complimentary things that they you know provide you with. I, I take full advantage of that. And if I have those little things left over, I actually take them with me because I mean they're just gonna throw it away. But you know when I do travel, the things I take here, take from here, I take them with me. You know I take them with me because you know when I'm traveling somewhere, like they come in handy big time, right? Because they're small and you know it's just like the right amount that you need for you know a quick you know, hair wash or something, so that's it for this video, so <laughs> probably be like uploading more random shit here and there just to show you the fun that I have from my perspective, right? So quick and dirty videos. Take care. Thanks. Peace.